personnel, multiple tight ends, and they got to get the run game going early. Jamiah Wakefield is his running back, and he'll get the first touch. Seals to the air for the first time. Seals the ball in the air on early downs, but here in a third and long, got to be careful of this LSU secondary. Pressure on him, and he dumps it off while getting hit. It'll fall incomplete. In Azle, Texas, he's got Marlowe in the backfield. Here is Javion Marlowe, and he's got a huge run on first down. And Marlowe gashes LSU. Marlow again. Four offensive linemen to opt outs, one of whom never showed up on campus, was a grad transfer from Michigan. Marlow trying to stretch. He'll be met at the edge and dumped for no gain. Drew from Midlothian, Virginia, started his high school career as a tight end. Four man rush out of the backfield. Jamari Wakefield, LSU had issues. Were erasers from sideline to sideline, so they really missed that presence. Here's Wakefield again. Talk with Ed Ogeron when you're already short on the back end. On second and seven, a draw. Wakefield was bottled up for a half second, but somehow got loose. So I wonder how early they start to get back to getting them out of the pocket. Here we go. Well, here's a roll, and he's out of the pocket now. In fact, outside the numbers before he's pressured. Play action. Seals on the run. A little wobbler, but it's complete. A Vanderbilt first down. Texas A&M, he's got to be more involved. Yeah, they only returned 673 receiving yards from last year after missing Kalijah Lipscomb. Here's Marlowe again. You think he'd be Brave busy? Guy, an Atlanta guy. We got a Dansby drop in for you later. Seals lets it go, and that's caught just shy of midfield. The oh, goose on the sideline. Oh, that's expensive. Jamari Wakefield on first down. Player at any level, obviously. Seals taken down in the backfield. Bo Pelini's defense coming up with a sack. Where on the field are guys not quite where they need to be? Says we're light at linebacker. Had a lot of big nose guards that now are having to play three technique. So it's a work in progress. Last week for Brandon against Mississippi State. Good field position for Vandy. Here's Jamari Wakefield. It's just tougher to see. It's tougher to anticipate and lead your receivers comfortably. Seals over the middle. Vanderbilt first down for Cam Johnson inside the 20. Todd Fitch, a new offensive coordinator for Vanderbilt. How good their offensive line can be was a huge question coming into the season. They'll continue to evolve. On the play action rollout, they go back to the tight end. On third and short, Seals gives it to Wakefield. And he pushes for a first down for Vandy. And a quarterback keeper off the zone read to the pylon. And they will mark him short. <laughs> no doubt. Little toss. That'll go as a pass and nothing doing. And stopping the touchdown. So now it's third and goal, nearly to the 10. Seals end zone shot. Caught, touchdown, Vanderbilt. Here's Jamie Amarlo. With him at the quarterback position, but hey, <laughs> I was way wrong, obviously. Yeah. Here's Marlo. Don't pull up my picks either for Nation this morning. First half, second and four now for Vandy. Seals on the rollout. Slides into second. He said, well, if all's even, uh, I'm going to go in the other direction. But then he kind of had a little bit of a smile and said, but man. Vanderbilt can make this thing really interesting before the end of the half. Both teams have converted in the red zone. Find him on the field, and then I recalculate where my read should go. Here's Jamari Wakefield again.
direction. I was a little tight, you know. I, I was worried as the ball was releasing it and run the football. They run it again. Wakefield bounces it to the near side. Mike Wright in the game with Rocco Griffin, couple of freshmen in the backfield. Wright takes a snap. Another QB run for him. He's at the five, and he got licked, turned upside down by Jacoby Stevens. One timeout left. Seals looking end zone, lobs. It is incomplete. I think we could compete. We didn't think we could win tight football games, and we didn't because of that. And I think that's what Ken Seals is referencing. They were in a tight game at Texas A&M, and they believed. Five days after getting back in June, and there was some apprehension amongst the players. They wanted to get their test back before they returned to the field. On third and six, got Stevens caught up on a blitz, and it's off the hands of Marlowe. Twelve schedule guys, and and the Big Ten schedule. I mean, do you have to win the division in the SEC to make it into the college football playoff? Ranked teams and top ten teams, so it'll play into effect, but I don't think it'll be a deciding factor. It's gonna be tough. Second and 13 now for Kent Seals and Vanderbilt and Wakefield form. Seals will roll and flips it out of bounds as the descendant of a war chief. Fantastic article in the Baton Rouge Advocate that recognized he was the only surviving child of his parents, seven sets of twins. <laughs> Third and five now for Kent Seals and Vanderbilt. Seals pressured. They got three sacks tonight. He gets rid of this one. And Cole's the only one of us who's got a recent headshot. Here's Seals to throw. Pressured again. Gets touched from behind and dragged down. Starting against LSU, he's got one game under his belt as a college quarterback. You came in to Vanderbilt as a junior college transfer quickly, so getting the ball out on time is the biggest thing for a young quarterback. Make the right read and get the ball out on time. Don't take unnecessary sacks.